Dear friends, today we'll be starting with a new topic of integer based computation in which we'll be looking into the addition and subtraction. But before going ahead, let us first understand what do you mean by an integer. An integer is a whole number. It is not a fraction and it can be positive or negative or zero. Therefore, the number like 10, 0, minus 25, minus 10, minus 11 and the number like 5, 1, 2, 3 all are considered to be integers. Unlike floating point numbers, integers cannot have decimal places. Integers are commonly used for data types in computer programming. So we'll be going ahead and looking into the addition and subtraction. Now, basically you are you are aware of the different signs like for addition we use plus sign and for subtraction we use minus sign now this is how the there are eight conditions which have been listed for performing addition and subtraction now let us consider two operators a and b so the conditions are if a is greater than b a is less than b and a is equal to b now the first condition if A is positive and B is also positive and you need to add both the numbers, your answer will be plus into bracket A plus B. Now, if A is positive and B is negative, you need to perform a subtraction operation where A minus B and the result will be positive. Now, in, in the similar cases, if A is less than B, we need to perform B minus A and the result will be negative. And if A is equal to B, again, you will perform the same operation. What you perform for A is greater than B and equal to, and it will be A minus B bracket plus. Now minus A plus plus B. Now if in such conditions, if A is greater than B, you need to perform A minus B bracket closed and the sign that we'll be getting, so whatever you'll be getting, the answer will be in negative. Now, if A is less than B, you'll perform B minus A and your answer will be positive. If A is equal to B, you'll be performing A minus B operation and the result will be positive. Now you need to make a note when the operators are changing like greater than or less than because your output will also change and simultaneously the output what you're getting your sign will also change positive and negative now the fourth condition minus a plus minus b here if you're adding the magnitude a plus b and outside it is minus so whatever result you get when you add two numbers it will be a negative sign now plus a minus plus b here if a is greater than b we'll perform simple a minus b operation but your output will be positive number. If A is less than B, we'll perform the operation B minus A and the output will be a negative number and A minus B, the output will be a positive number. Plus A minus bracket minus B. So in such cases, you will only add the magnitudes A plus B and bracket is closed. Minus A minus plus b you just add two numbers and your output will be a negative number minus a minus and again you just subtract it with minus b if if a is greater than b your answer is a minus b output will be negative if a is less than b b minus a output will be positive and a is equal to B, A minus B and the output will be positive. Now why this table is important in case of a sign magnitude addition and subtraction because here certain conditions are being laid out well, like greater than less than equal to. So you have to change the sign accordingly whatever operation A or B are doing. Like you need to consider different sign parameters also. Like in many of the cases, for example, we have seen that if A is greater than B and we are performing a positive and a negative operation that A is positive and B is negative. 
simple it will be a minus b but at the same time if the value of b is greater than a then you will perform the negative operation that is b minus a and the output will be in a negative number so this is what you need to remember before performing the addition and subtraction of the magnitudes now let us consider this the hardware for sign magnitude addition and subtraction here you have registers to store the data you have complementer like to complement the data and it has been represented with a v f then we have registers are represented with bs you have a parallel adder which is in case called as e and if this adder contains a it is called as e a if this adder contains b it is called as e b and you have a register which is directly linked with a which is called as a s now you have different mode of control which is called as mode control m now what does mode control do it will be used for adding the numbers and it will be used for switching also like whether you want to do a read operation write operation read write operation and so on now now you have a diagram which is being listed in front of you now bs is the register now in register we are aware that we are storing some sort of number and it acts as a memory now this this number uh, will be going to a complementer which is abf and this complementer is linked with mode control m now this complementer further passes the number to the parallel adder and parallel adder will check whether the number can be added for example if you are doing a simple operation 1 plus 0 so your output will be 1 so there is no carry required in such number but at the same time if you are doing 1 1 plus 1 your output will be 1 carry 1 so there will be a carry bit which will be 1 which will directly go to E and this is being stored into the register A and simultaneously this register is the register A is directly linked with parallel parallel ladder in the form of bi-directional form and you can load the sum into the register A to carry out the different operations which are being linked with it now this is a, a diagram which consists of an operation that is called as an add operation you have again in A added in B now first of all you should be aware what do you mean by augend augend is the number in which another number is added so a is the number in which another number b is being added now this is directly being, being linked with the help of registers a s plus b s now if a s let us consider the case when a s is equal to one now first condition if a s okay is not equal to b s now we are aware that a s stands for a register and b s stands for b register if they, the contents of both the registers are not equal we will be performing a operation which is called as e a now e a you are aware that it is called as a parallel adder the contents of a plus b complement now what do you understand by complement one becomes zero zero becomes one that is one's complement and if it is two's complement then what you will do you will do the one complement and add one one to it and plus one and you will store the content in adder that is e a in such cases you should be aware that a v f that is called as your complementer should be equal to zero now after performing this you are storing the contents into e a you move to ahead and you perform two operations where your e which is called as parallel ladder first is equal to zero and equal to one now let us consider the case where e is equal to zero now if the contents of a you should be aware is less than b so what will you do to find the contents of a you will take the complement of a and it will become 
one will become zero and zero will become one and you will store it in a and then you will store the contents of a as a plus one and the content of as will be complement of as similarly when e is equal to one and a is greater than equal to b what we have seen previously now if e is equal to one and the condition is if the content of a is greater than equal to b now you will go to the register a and again the two conditions are applied equal to zero and not equal to zero if it is not equal to zero directly end the flowchart now if it is equal to zero then you will store the contents in the register that is a s and you will end now you should be aware of the different different complement cycles what we have done one's complement two's complement and the different angles like a minus b a is less than b a is, a is greater than b and the sign jack can be attached to it when you're performing any add operation similarly when when you're performing a s plus b s that is register a s is being added with register b s and it is equal to zero now the first condition if a s is equal to b s now now see this condition if a s is equal to b s here you require no complement to take place here you require no complement to take place you can directly add the contents of register a plus b and store it in e a similarly the contents of e a will pass to a v f that is your accumulator and it will be stored in register e and your process of addition will get over now if you see this flowchart, when we have seen that contents of AS was not equal to BS, in that case, we have to make the contents equal, we had taken the complement of B. Now you should imagine whether your the binary number, because all of these operations will be taking place in a binary number. The binary number, for example, of one, that is triple zero one. Will it be same for minus one? No, because you need to take the ones complement and then convert it into two's complement and then find the contents of register B, which we can say as minus one. Now you need to perform the subtract operation. Now minute, that is number to which another number is subtracted in so minus A is subtracted in B. So AS plus BS, if it is equal to zero and if it is equal to one. Now let's consider the first case, AS is equal to BS. Now EA, it will be the combination of register A plus register B plus one. So B is being called, B is being called as the register and you will store the contents of it, which will be the complement and your avf is by default complementer is zero now you need to keep in mind your basics that is once complement two's complement and accordingly add the numbers into binary number now this when we get the value of e then we will check whether it is equal to zero or whether equal equal to one now let us perform the operation where ea is equal to zero now if a is less than b your if a is less than b now see you have a positive number if a is less than b so what will be the value of a it will be the complement of a that is one will become zero and zero will become one similarly if a is equal to a plus one and a s will become the complement of a s similarly if E is equal to one and the condition is A is greater than equal to B. You will perform the following operation. The contents directly go in the register A. It is equal to zero and not equal to zero. Now, if it is not equal to zero, it will end. And if it is equal to zero, you will store the content A S that is, that is the register A into zero and it will end. Now, if 
it is equal to 1 and as is not equal to bs and you are performing a subtraction in such cases ea is equal to a plus 1 the output of ea is being carry forwarded to avf and the contents of e directly gets stored into avf now you are aware that contents of e is nothing but your parallel adder will directly get stored into the complementer because as is not equal to bs